Hi, I'm Andy Reynolds and just briefly here I would like to cover the uh, relationship between volts and amps and watts and this is particular reference to DC voltage when a, you're setting up a small PV or solar battery system. So let's go into the workshop and we'll just do a few experiments. So here we are and we've got a 12 volt battery. Now the thing to know there is that 12 volt batteries it's a nominal 12 volt and it can vary. So it's not a precise thing. So you can have 13 volts when it's fully charged or 11.5 volts when it is fully discharged. So don't take 12 volts as a precise number. Okay, so what I'd like to say is, first of all, you have a thing called an ohms wheel. Yeah, and hopefully, and this will be in the course details and on the website. So we have volts. This is a 12 volt battery. You put two of these together, one after the other, and they add up. So that would be 24 volts. So volts is the pressure of the electricity. Mains electricity in the UK is 240 volts. So there's a lot more pressure. Okay. Then the other side of that is the amount of electricity that a particular item, for instance, here's a, an indicator bulb from a car that will draw an amount of electricity and that amount is called the amps right? or it's often referred to as current right? but it's measured in amps okay? that's for any split second so then yeah, most people are aware of electricity uh, calibration as it were or description uh, they refer to it in watts. Okay, so therefore there will be a two kilowatt um, electric kettle. That's 2,000 watts. There will be a five watt LED light. Okay, so watts is a combination of volts and amps. So therefore we're going to do an experiment to show this is a 21 watt bulb and we're going to be running it from a 12 volt battery so i'm just going to set up the circuit and then we can do the test hopefully this will make things clear okay hopefully you can see these meters there's the bulb we'll just put it to one side slightly so it doesn't uh, blind us all. Yeah, so what? So this is the va the battery voltage, and it says twelve point nine four at the moment. And this one, this meter is set to current. So I think we'll just zoom in a bit. Okay. So if I attach this, the other end. So what happens is, just briefly, is the. Um, Go from the positive of the battery through the meter, out of the meter, through the bulb. Yeah, that's right. Through the bulb, yeah, and to here. Yeah, and this meter is straight across the battery. So when we attach this lead here, we are showing 1.8 amps, and if you notice the battery voltage is just pulling down from a nominal high charge uh, rate uh, voltage and then it will settle down and as the bulb warms up it um, pulls slightly less current but we can say 1.8 at 12.6 volts okay hopefully that makes some sense so we'll just switch this off so we want watts, yes? we've got 
volts and we've got current in amps so therefore we want watts and it's volts times amps current there you see is defined as I don't know why but there you go so what was it 12.6 times 1.8 equals 22.6 well it's a nominal 21 watt bulb and we calculated it as 22.6 at that voltage for instance if uh, the battery was pretty low on charge and it was 11.5 and we multiply it by 1.8 amps equals 20.7 so you see there's a relationship between all this lot so if we remember that volts is the pressure current measured in amps is the amount of flow of electricity at any one point and a combination of these two gives you watts which is a quantifiable way of measuring the amount of power used so on a battery system it's quite important to know all these things because you might be running an inverter and the inverter takes a small amount of power to run itself and you will be that will be running off a battery and the battery will be charged through a solar panel and so therefore you don't want to use more power than you're generating so um, hopefully that makes sense and I will catch up with you soon cheers for now